Uh, okay, okay, Master Loji. Uh, good evening from here. Am I am I coming out here? Yes, you are. Um, uh, good evening, fellow Bia friends, lovers of freedom, and, and all the good will, all the good people of Bia France. Um, I'm just coming on air right now. My name is Mazichina Sawaru. I'm coming on air right now based on the information that is circulating on social media. I just want to urge every Biafran, wherever you are, make sure, hold yourself together. There is nothing that has spoiled or nothing has gone wrong. The Directorate of State will make an official statement on any news you are hearing on social media or anything or any information concerning the arrest of our leader. The actual and the correct press release, the authentic information will come from the Directorate of State. And immediately the press release will come out. All of you will also see it. For now, we want everybody to keep calm. Do not panic. This is freedom fighting. We have to know that whatever, for over 60 years, that the Nigerian terrorist government has been killing our people. If there is any adoption or redemption of our people, we may, we are not going to back down. The arrest and killing of our people is not going to back anything down in what we are doing. What we are saying is this. Everybody, calm down. The Director of State will come to make an official statement in less than 24 hours. And the, the new pace, the way we have to move, or whatever our leader will say is what we are going to follow. We do not need to panic. This is freedom fighting. Whoever knows, whoever knows and have gone through the history of freedom fighting, for those who are fighting for their freedom, nobody can deter the odds or the request that people have for their own freedom. Arresting people, adopting people, all these things have never stopped the freedom the, the, those who are fighting for the quest for their freedom. Therefore, I call all you dear friends, wherever you are, do not have any panic. Do not panic for what you saw on social media. Anything that happens, it will be laid open. It will be laid open. We have nothing to hide. And if you are part of anything that have gone wrong in the in the struggle for the indigenous people of Biafra, you are part of the saboteur. Anything you see from us, you will get it. This is all I can say now, Mazaloze. I am not making this statement that it is an official statement for the Directorate of State, but as a member of the DOS, and I see the way the panic and the calls that are coming, I am telling our people to calm down that the Directorate of State will make a statement in less than 24 hours. Then from there, we will see the direction we are moving. Thank you so much, Mazaloze, for giving me this little time. Thank you. From here. Good evening, fellow Biafras and lovers of Europe around the world. I bring you greetings this evening from here. I'm calling from my location passenger on the line. Okay, briefly, let me just touch uh, to what our people have just been, been saying, more especially our Chinese and we have come out to, to to talk to our people. So, for those of you who are panicking, I don't know what you are, I don't know your reason for panicking. And those of you, in fact, my battery, my battery is flat. Even for those who have not called me for many months, are calling me. I don't need to answer you anything until you get official press statement. But that is not bothering me. I want you to understand something. We have gotten to the stage and have put everything we need in place to do whatever we need to do. And we remain, we remain unstoppable. No matter whatsoever, we are unstoppable. But I went to today, two, two, British did one politics and overnight they arrest our leader and repatriate our leader. We are not going to stop. Some of us already are stop, only stubborn than our leader as it is. I'm telling you the gospel truth. We are not looking for where to lay our hands on any arm. That is not the case. We improvise. If peradventure in any case they want to dare us, we 
we we engulf this Nigeria in fire overnight. We are not making matter about it. We are millions and we are ready to lay down our life. There is nothing you can do about it. There is nothing way. So it's not something you should be panicking and making call to, to find out whether it's true or not. That should bother you less. The most important thing that a particular order and instruction have been given. But I've been training there, look for me, don't see me. Burn down Nigeria. The order is standing. So do not be calling some of us and be disturbing our life. Be resolute. It is in this kind of situation that you will test your faith, whether you are actually a freedom fighter or, or, or you are just standing to a ESA, a ESA fighter. So bear this in mind and do everything humanly possible to bring down that, that resources. Put it in this struggle. Challenge it where you have to challenge. Very, very soon, they will start hearing it. Since they don't want to hear it, the way that would have benefit everybody, they will hear the other language that everybody has to understand. Nobody has the monopoly of violence. Nobody has it more. The more they are shipping and importing their relation, the more we are improvising. And we continue to fight this war. If you like, let it take one million. Their farm must be restored. That is just my candid one of our sides to all of you this afternoon. Thank you, Mazanozi, and God bless you, yes, sir. Good day, Dr. Alozi. This is Major General Isaac Ataka for the second. Commander 66 to take battalion of the Biafran Army. Ataka Marine Voice of the Creek on the line. Welcome. Calling from Izon Province here in the United States of Biafra. The breaking news getting to us is that the Interpol arrested our leader. <laughs> We are sending a message to Interpol and to all APC politicians. They have 72 hours to release our leader in good health. Our leader gave the order many years ago before he left this land that if he is rearrested again, we should turn the suit to ashes. Britain has 72 hours to release our leader in good health. Else, that their company called Nigeria will go on flame. It's not a threat. It's a promise we are giving them because men are hungry. God bless the United States of Biafra and God bless you. So, Alozi, our Mabu presenter, good day. We are waiting for the release of the President of the United States of Biafra, His Excellency Dr. Ebitou, in Nambi, Israel, local in 72 hours. Failure to do that and will be for this speech. Nigeria. Okay. Fellow Bia friends all over the world, friends of Bia friends of Bia friends and lovers of freedom. My name is Chinwa Kweza. I'm calling from the city of Toronto, Canada. Maze, on this day, this is not an official statement, but a word of encouragement for my fellow comrades, wherever you are. Those that have Biafra at heart, those that are willing to do anything for Biafra. This is a word for you. This route that we are in now is one of the routes that we have chosen. Remember Nelson Mandela said, there are three places a freedom fighter will be. In the grave, asylum, in a foreign land, or in the prison. So at every point in time, we must remind ourselves that if we find our place, ourselves in any of these places, we should know that it is a path that we have chosen in order to do everything possible to restore our land. What we are doing, we are doing with every moral justification and backed up with every international law for self-determination. A lot of people have been calling me and I have always told them, go back to the radio because Radio Biafra is the platform where you can get every information concerning IPOB and this our effort to restore Biafra. The whole world has known that we are very peaceful people and we are agitating peacefully. We have not killed anybody. Rather, we are, be, we are being on the defensive against our, uh, against our life because we are a people struggling for self-preservation. Dear friends, this is the time that we must remain strong, resolute, and more forbidden, formidable. This time marks a landmark in our time and in this struggle. We must all stand shoulder to shoulder. With our leader, wherever he is, he, he remains the leader, the supreme leader of the indigenous people of Biafra worldwide. There is no, it's indisputable. So while we wait for the official announcement from the leadership of IPOB, which is the Directorate of State, 
We are telling all Bia France in Canada, here in Ontario province, and all over the world, please, please remain resolute and let your eyes be on the ball. Mazi, thank you very much for your time, for your talent, and for your treasure. And I pray that when you speak, may you speak wisdom. When we hear, may we not be only hearers, but also doers of the word. From Toronto, Canada, my name is Timo Abuese. Take it from me. I love you.